How much time do you think the physical gaming market has? How much time does the console market has? Let me know in the comments section. Hi, y'all. My name is Brownie. I don't know why I did it like that. But hi, how are y'all doing? So, that PlayStation 5 Pro technical review, huh? It was, seemed pretty interesting. What they talked about was pretty cool, I will admit. And if you see my reaction to it on my live stream, you'd notice that I was warming up to it because normally when they do a pro version, a regular version gets a price cut. And as you know, the PS5 has two versions, the digital version and the one that uses a disk drive or has a disk drive. So with the reveal of the PlayStation Pro and seeing that it did not have a disk drive and $700, it was concerning and there's light in me so forgive me but wow man seven hundred dollars and they are selling a disk drive for the ps5 but for 80 bucks so you'll be paying around eight hundred dollars for the playstation 5 pro just for enhanced visuals frame rate and whatnot boy i do not know what is Sony thinking. Um, what are y'all doing? You just lost money with Concord. You're losing a lot of money with the remakes of The Last of Us 1 and 2. Games that did not need a remake at all. And now you're doing this. You are you just love to bleed money, don't you? And it makes me thinking, bro, this is something they're pushing at so often. I have digital games, obviously, and I'm sure you guys have digital games as well, but I love the option of having it physical and not fearing the idea that someday when the servers are down, you do not lose this game. Like, that's one of the things I did not get into an MMO in the first place because you invest so much time and effort into one game that when the servers are down, you lose all the amount of money. And a single player game that's digital only in this case it's like 40 50 60 70 but an mmo depends how much you're invested in that but to translate that on physical games on games that should be single player it's something that's gonna inevitably happen sadly but i would love if they would give us the option of ownership to these games like Steam is doing. When you buy a game, do you have the option of going digital? I mean, buying it, downloading it yourself. You have the option of downloading it yourself. Even the servers are down because you paid for it. They gave us the guarantee. Um, I'm quoting someone years ago. I don't know if that's still around, but here's the thing. Steam is great and all, but it's something special when you have a console right in front of you, right? You don't get to pull out your PC like this and just play. Or you just go, can't go to your chair, your bed, and relax. You don't need a TV. In this case, uh, the Switch, you don't need a TV. But the console is just dedicated just for playing that. And the computer can do that and so much more. And it's a novelty. It's charming. But with the push of being digital only, and these prices. At this point, you're pushing so many people to go in PC only and the charm will be lost. I hope Nintendo in the future that if let's be honest, all these console makers will go digital only in the future. That is a sad truth. However, I would love for Nintendo to give us the option of re-downloading our games. I don't think that's mostly gonna happen but bro you know the amount of piracy that's gonna happen when they just full on do it digital only you know that right it's insane and you would think that a company that's bleeding money will make smart choices oh my god and i get it not many people were not were not gonna buy that it's for the people who can but this is going to motivate Sony even more to push digital only and to make these strategies comfortably when they're in a pinch. 
like I mentioned earlier, the independence because Concord got cancelled, got canned, the servers were down after two months of the game, and the development of that was eight years, a lot of money lost. Uh, you would think that would make something low budget, but quality, I don't know, man. And then this is just not on Sony. This is on all console manufacturers, all gaming devs. And I mentioned this on my Concord uh, live, uh, live service games video. You guys, you guys are trying too hard to pull on the market. And it's, you're shooting yourselves in the foot. What can I say? But yeah, I don't know how much time physical market has, but again, I would love for them to give us the option to guarantee us that we buy something digital, we'll actually own it, even if the console gets broken, even if the console, I don't know, maybe there'll be ways where you can bypass that and make it sure that's you. I, you, Nintendo always been anti piracy. Maybe that's this will motivate them even more going all digital. Which, if they go all digital, that will be worse for them. So, the incentive of if you buy something digitally, you will be guaranteed total ownership of this in regards of playing it on your console. But, I don't know, how much time this has left, I would say 10, 15 years. Some might say less, some might say more, but let me know in the comment section on that. I am... <laughs> I'm not disappointed. Oh, what's, the, what's the phrase? I'm not upset, I'm just disappointed, because... I've seen others do this path. Oh, but this is very concerning. And again, this is gonna be, if they go digital only, this the piracy will increase. The piracy will increase and they'll bleed a lot more money. But who am I to say? I'm not tech savvy, I'm not like an expert in marketing. I'm just some gamer who loves the hobby. And just speaking of what what they're what I'm I'm observing, but yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. This is a spicy topic, and Nintendo, if you're gonna change your consoles to be digital only, please give it that incentive. Steam, if you're still doing that, keep doing that, and I don't know, man. It's like a grim future for physical games and, and consoles, home consoles. Anyway, I'm gonna stop myself before I keep on rambling. Take care, y'all. Peace.